position, and then, just as we practiced, I don't want to see any naked flames near Rufus. May Tetanus be with us. What's going on? Why aren't you playing? We haven't learned that song off by heart yet. And without light, we can't see the music. Then why not play something you know by heart? Hmm. I think I can come up with something. Our hit, Rudy's Dental Work, went wrong. <laughs> oh, please don't. I've already had to put up with that howling long enough. Still, much better than having to gaze at your mug all day. Hey! Do you think that I suffer from ear potatoes? Hey, Rufus! Wait a minute! Wenzel, is that you? I thought you were a jack-o'-lantern, honest. Very funny, but great to see that you decided to join in with Barbecue Thursday after all. The hell I did. I'm just here to pick Tony up. Oh yes, the balloon. Have you really thought that one through? I know. A week in a confined space with her might make me suicidal, but I'm pretty sure it wouldn't be good for our relationship if I left the planet without her. I just meant whether you're sure about going through with the whole thing. You've split once before. If your plan fails again, you could break more than just the altimeter, or your nose, or the roof of the kindergarten. Don't worry, little man. This time, I've thought of everything. I didn't even bother to install an altimeter, for example. Tony trusts me. And rightly so. You'll see. Then explain it to me again. What exactly do you see in that food? Huh? Rufus, he's not the right man for you. Is he even a man? Huh? I'd say he's more a complete loser. Shut your trap, Lotto. Nah, he's got no job, no manners. And the biggest thing he hasn't got, a future. I'm warning you, Lotto. Don't diss my friend. Ah, oh, come on, Tony. Do you really trust in that good for nothing? You heard Tony, Lotto. Leave her in peace. No, I want to know. Do you really believe he's going to get you two to Elysium? Huh? You're more likely to see me in a dress. <laughs> For the last time, Lotto, shut your mouth. You could have the pick of anyone, Tony. If only you'd open your eyes, you would see this. This here is a man. A real man. Lotto, please. A manly, beardy man. The furniture is brand new. How about it? You want to touch my beard? Huh? Chickadee, chickadee. Uh, funny, I have this twinge in my leg. I wonder if that means we're going to have a storm. Lotto, what happened to you? You can... You can... You can call me... Lottie... From now on. Hey, Rufus. Hey, Lonzo. Same as usual. Quite the contrary. I want something new. Something else. Something exciting. Well, you're out of luck there. I've only got the same as always. Nat's bit. Uh, then why do you even ask? Well, normally people only ever want what they already know. <laughs> Ordinary people, maybe. But I'm having none of that. Not me. You hear me? Not me! Hi there, Snuggle Bunny. What did we agree about Snuggle Bunny? That uh, she's a choleric little viper with a delectable derriere? I was trying to make the point that I didn't want you giving me a pet name. However, good answer. 
Do you have any idea what happened to Lotto? Let's just say he went a step too far. Yeah, I keep saying that kind of thing can end up badly, but you still insist that I take out the garbage. I meant that figuratively. What? Uh, wait, that was you? Why? He said some ugly things. Ugly duckling ugly or your mama ugly? <gasps> I'm beginning to think I hit the wrong one. The balloon is ready for liftoff. You really did it? Of course. What kind of stupid question was that? Nothing exploded? Not yet. Or burned down? Nope. Or got broken? Well, hmm. Two out of three. Much better than expected. You'll never believe what happened today. Oh, no. What have you gone and done now? Nothing. Why? No fires or explosions. No. Anyone injured or horribly burnt? Animals count too, you know. Nothing of the sort. Well then, you're right. I don't believe you. I have got to tell you about my dream. Can't that wait until after we've left? Mm, well, maybe so. But it was totally awesome. We broke up. Yeah. I often dream that, too. At last! A week without the kitchen going up in flames. Well, it wasn't quite like that. Somehow, I was still living with you. Oh, so more like a nightmare. I met an Elysian, a real orbit pixie. Are you getting back at me for dreaming about Cowboy Dodo? You dream about Cowboy Dodo? Every woman dreams of Cowboy Dodo. I think he was in my dream, too. Do I need to be worried, then? It wasn't that kind of dream. Quite the opposite. I really gave him a pounding. Oh. Huh? The Organon wanted to blow Deponia to bits, but I sure showed them where the Wombat's teeth hang. Hmm. Perhaps it's some kind of expression for pressed self-loathing. I'm just saying that because you always end up blowing everything up. Self-loathing? Don't be silly! I'm great! Although, it is somewhat surprising that in my dream, all of the Organon were clones of me. No further questions, Your Honor. I had almost made it to Elysium. But then your human love went and got in the way. You always say that when your plans fail. But this time it really was like that! You mean in your dream? Oh, yeah, sorry. It was just all so realistic. So the next time you aren't quite sure, if one of your plans appears to be realistic, it's highly likely to be just a dream. In the end, I sacrificed my life to save Deponia. <laughs> you, of all people. Why not? Do I need to remind you that I donated my lymphatic system for medical research? That doesn't count. They only want it so they can work out how you got the spaghetti in there. Also, you hardly did it out of the milk of human kindness. You did it for a subscription to Surgeons Weekly. I only read it for the articles. Honest. At the end, I was old and there was snow everywhere. I thought you had sacrificed yourself. Ooh, that somehow doesn't fit. I must have survived. But at what price? Everything was so hopelessly broken that I finally blew Deponia to smithereens. That must have been by far the longest, sickest nightmare in history. Mm, I don't know. We've been together a while now, haven't we? Oh, you've never understood any of my dreams. The more you tell me, the prouder I am of that fact. Uh, about your crystal glasses. Oh yeah, I gotta pack those as well. Did you get the bubble wrap? Well, yeah, but... But? Can't we just leave the glasses here? Do we really want to have this conversation again? I'm giving up a lot here, and all this with a rapidly diminishing chance that you will get us to Elysium against all possible odds. My only condition. I want to take my grandmother's glasses with us. I mean, I'm just saying, it's, it's a long trip. Not, not that something's <laughs> gonna happen to them. You said it was safe. It is, but there's always a small risk. And um, I'm sure they have some really outstanding glasses on Elysium. Either I come with the glasses or not at all. I I I'll take care of the glasses. Rufus, we've already been over this. That's a task which is no match for your abilities. What do you mean? Well, you'll break them. That's absurd! <laughs>
And even if I did, I'd find a way to undo it. You always want the impossible. But you lay one finger on my glasses and you'll have overstepped the line. Understood? The glasses broke. <laughs> I know you're only kidding. Because you know that our relationship is dependent on those glasses. As well as your ability to drink without a straw. <laughs> you just... <laughs> right. Gotcha. Yeah, it, it, it was a joke. A, a funny, funny... Not funny. Absolutely, totally not at all funny joke. Right? I totally forgot. I wanted to make room for the glasses. Just sit back down and relax while I take care of it, okay? <sighs> Just hurry up. And... That's won you the darts championship. Here, take the first prize. Prize? Oh boy, what is it? A power inverter. That could fit, but which way around? Nah, whatever. I'm sure it doesn't matter. Chill back mode! Just lean back and enjoy the cool atmosphere. Hey, got it on the first try. I'm obviously on a winning streak. Uh, thanks, man. That was real necessary. Professor Rufus presents the Miracle of Heat Exchange. Sweet! It's the latest thing. What's that? A tinfoil hat. It'll help you remember. Then leave it where it is. I drink to forget. I don't want you to remember the past, just the future. Uh, sounds like a change of strategy. As I have absolutely no future anyhow, it can't get any worse. That's the spirit. But if it's all the same to you, I'll use my own. Sure, of course. I would too if I put. Whoa, 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 wait a minute! What? You had a tinfoil hat with you the whole time? Must have been a flash of divine inspiration. I do so love nibbling the wrap off Matt's best bottles. I did, however, line it with straw in order to. I get it. You had a tinfoil hat. All that work for nothing. <laughs> 
How incredibly hilarious. You see me wiping tears of laughter from my crow's feet. Can we finally move along here? Be my guest. But... with what? Now, I don't want to bore you with details. Just remember this one thing. If history repeats itself, try to stop that pink elephant somehow. Yeah, okay, why not? It's the least I can do. I think so, too. Hey, Mac. Do you have a minute? Given the context, would you like to rephrase that question? I'll take that as a yes. How come we remember everything after turning the crank, and no one else does? Yes. Wait a minute. That is actually an astoundingly good question. So, I've invented this very complicated headgear for this purpose, but you... Your tinfoil hat protects your memory? Well, it's a bit more complicated than that. For an egghead brain box, maybe. Case solved for me. Dr. Gizmo had to implant this metal plate after someone sabotaged my catapult plan. Well, that could be a factor. But the screening only works if the hat is also lined with straw. Did that Dr. Gizmo insert straw into you as well? Straw? Oh. Well, main thing, it works, right? I need to get rid of that pink elephant right away. Perhaps you should visit a doctor. No, I can't expect any help from Dr. Gizmo. I'm banned from his clinic because I sometimes snack on expired drugs from his trash can. Uh, uh. Do we want to turn back time again? I don't know. It seems less and less like a good idea to me. Are you sure you're well prepared this time? You realize everything that you've done since the accident will be reversed. Whatever, I can do it over again if need be. The main thing is that the glasses remain intact. Well, yes, but perhaps with a bit more preparation, one could... Too late! Nina, Nina, let me through! I'm a prophet! <laughs> huh? Here we go again. Rufus? Are you there? Where else? Shall we have another go? <laughs> I can hardly wait. Come on. 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 Turn now. A little more to the right. Careful. A sweet wombat. Go back a little. Dodge the vultures. Forward a bit, and stop. Perfect. Are you sure that I can leave it here? 100%. Whew. Then the timeline is probably intact again. That means... What is that? Uh, I'm receiving strange values. Values? What are you talking about? No idea. I... Rufus! Quack! It's here! Hurry! Tuck! What happened? The pink elephant. It was here. I wrestled with it. For a short while, I felt I was winning. But then, it disappeared into the ground. If anything's disappearing around here, it's your grip on reality. You saw it, too! I'm not so sure anymore. Maybe it was all just my imagination. Well, your imagination has a really hard left hook. I know. But enough of that. The glasses are safe and sound. Everything else is secondary. I'll go get Tony, and then we're out of here. I fear things will turn out different. I sure hope so. The elephant was here. Sure it was, but maybe you should lie down first. Tomorrow the world will look much friendlier again. Ugh. You haven't had much experience with alcohol, have you? He's coming! Everyone in position! And then, just as we practiced, 
I don't want to see any naked flames near Rufus. May Tephanus be with us. Hey, Rufus! Wait a minute! Not now, Wenzel. I have more important things to do than to listen to your squeaking. You're still a jack-o'-lantern, just the same. Hi there, Snuggle Bunny. <sighs> I have got to tell you about my dream. Can't that wait until after we've left? Uh, well, maybe so, but it was totally awesome. Oh, you've never understood any of my dreams. The more you tell me, the prouder I am of that fact. Enough talk. Let's go. Yeah, why not? What? No cynical comment? No doubt? No venomous jibes? And not today. I've just about had enough of this place. I can hardly wait to get out of here. Come on, Titch. I still have to pack my crystal glasses and say bye to Pops. <laughs> Precisely. This time, nothing did happen to the glasses. What do you mean, this time? Well, that's, that's nothing you need to worry your pretty head about. The main thing is the glasses are safe and sound, right? Yeah. That would be better for you. Much better. Well, this is going to be one fun balloon trip. Ah, oh, shut your pie hole. to say to me? Uh, on to Elysium? I mean, about broken glass. Sheesh! <laughs> broken glass? <laughs> it uh, brings good luck, no? You mean, like the luck of having a completely intact lower jaw? Gonna have to disappoint you there. Ouch! Tony! I'm disappointed in you, Rufus. I always thought you'd be the one to bring a breath of fresh air into this dump. But I got it all wrong. You make the same mistakes again and again and again. It was entertaining the first two or three times, but wears thin by the fourth. Have a great time with your next attempt to reach Elysium, Rufus. If you need me, I'll be with my dad. And for one last time, keeping the fire extinguisher on standby. Tony! Wait! Damn it! All because of that damned elephant again. Where's Tuck anyway? He was supposed to keep an eye on things. You just can't trust anyone for anything around here anymore. <laughs> 